now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, Amari's Revenge. The Goddess Next Door is confronted by a new being queen out for revenge at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in this inaugural Isis series adventure. Get your copy of Isis, Amari's Revenge in paperback and e-readers at Amazon.com and online booksellers everywhere. Some folks get on social media and just don't know how to act right. Now, over the weekend, I posted a video talking about how Megan Thee Stallion opened up for presidential candidate Kamala Harris as related to a campaign rally that she had in Atlanta, Georgia. And as I made my critique and commentary and made my statements regarding my observations regarding that event, there were some individuals who wanted to just show how out of control they were in the comments section and as they went into ad hominem attacks what i had to do was i was forced for the second time to pause and shut down the comment section now i shut down the comment section because i do not want to foster the toxicity that I'm seeing on social media over the last three to four years because over the last three to four years I have noticed how people's behavior has just gone completely off the rails as related to social media and people are not thinking before they put their fingers to the keyboard whether it be on platforms like YouTube, platforms like Instagram, or platforms like Facebook. Many of these people are reacting with their emotions and not thinking critically before they put fingers to the keyboard regarding whatever statements they make what, regarding whatever post or YouTube video are presented to them. And as these individuals have gone on in these comment sections, they're just not showing good discernment as related to the way they communicate on social media. Now, some of these individuals believe that because of the anonymity of the internet, they can go out here and just write or, or say whatever is crazy that's coming across on their impulses. But what they don't understand is that this is not a good thing to do because it really shows that this individual has one poor self-control and cannot navigate through their emotions and since they cannot navigate through their emotions as related to what they're seeing, what they do is go and rush to the keyboard and act impulsively, typing in whatever statements, never thinking about how this reflects on them. And as they don't think about how this reflects on them, they don't see how they're basically embarrassing themselves by behaving like this on social media. Now, as someone who grew up with the internet from the late 90s to the 2000s, I saw a very more civil internet back in those days. And back in those days, people had some sort of self-restraint. So while there were trolls here and there who would go out here and put up these crazy comments, there would be moderators to shut that down. But these days, I'm not seeing much as related to people having any sort of moderation as related to restraining themselves on the internet and I'm not seeing any sort of protection from for, for content creators from these hostile individuals. No, what I'm seeing is people going off the rails and platforms like YouTube and Facebook basically leaving it people on their own because YouTube now, instead of allowing you to block these individuals, allows these toxic individuals to continue to go on by telling you that you can hide the user, but hiding the user doesn't go out here and give any sort of consequence to those users. No, it allows those users to continue creating a hostile environment as related to, a, a, to these platforms. And as they continue on, they just continue acting on their emotions, acting on their emotions without thinking about what they're putting up online. Now, when it comes to these kind of individuals, again, they make me shake my head because they basically prove a point that I made in a previous video where I talked about how emotions are dangerous. And emotions are dangerous because a lot of times when you're emotional, what you do is you act on your feelings. And when you act on your feelings, what you do 
is not really think about the consequences of your actions. And this is what people are doing as they go out here and put their fingers to the keyboard or on these pads of these smartphones, showing everyone how ignorant they are. What they're doing is acting impulsively on their feelings, not understanding that the way you are behaving is reflects badly on you and it reflects badly on you because again you're in your feelings about something on, as related to a somebody saying on a platform when this is not how you conflict resolve no people who conflict resolve and can think critically understand yes i may be hearing something i may disagree with and since i hear something i may disagree with here's what i do is I find the X at the top of that tab and I click out and I keep it moving. I don't take the time to go out here and t get personal with someone that I don't even know because that shows, again, low restraint and low self-control. It shows that a person really isn't thinking about what is presented. No, a person who thinks about what is presented says, okay, this person is presenting talking points I don't like. This person is presenting talking points I disagree with. So what I'm going to do is, again, hit that X at the top of the tab of my browser and keep it moving. Hit that X at the top of the tab and keep it moving because it's not worth getting worked up because you saw somebody talking about a celebrity or a politician in a video and it's not worth it at all to get so personal because when you get personal like that it really shows that again there's an issue here an issue here with this person as related to impulse control an issue here as related to self-control an issue here as related to discipline because healthy people do not go out here and go out and make personal attacks on people they don't go out here again dropping crazy comments again reacting on feeling because when you react on feeling this is something that shows that you're somebody that can be easily manipulated easily manipulated because you're letting your feelings overtake you and when you let your emotions overtake you you're putting yourself in a dangerous position a dangerous position where you may go out here and say something you may regret you may say something you regret and cannot take back this is something people don't understand about being emotional like this it only takes a moment to lose a relationship that you've had for many years because you go out here and say something say something to someone that basically just winds up m making them see a picture of you that just darkens that picture and makes it where they wind up losing trust in you as related to your behavior this is something that i've seen in my own real life i've seen people go out here and say something and then wind up losing relationships lose jobs lose family lose the respect of family members lose that respect because they they go out here and act impulsively by saying something and this is what happens on social media these days that's been making it toxic people are just putting fingers to the keyboard and not really thinking about what they're presenting on social media whether it be a video whether it be a comment people are not really sitting there thinking and as they sit there and don't think what they do is contribute to the toxic environment that social media has become contribute to the toxic environment that social media is becoming and creating an environment where people are not able to again have a civil discourse as related to certain topics and not able to have that civil discourse because people just again get in their feelings get in their feelings and don't really take the time to pro think critically process what they're hearing process what's being told no what i'm seeing with people is they're engaging in what i can called in my book why 70 percent of black women are single selective hearing and as they selectively hear what they want to hear what they do is get triggered in their emotions and as they get triggered in their emotions they act impulsively and as they act impulsively they go out here saying things that they would not say to somebody in the street 
Because if you said what you post, what some of these people posted in the street, sadly, what would happen to these individuals is they might wind up getting hurt, not, not only physically, but emotionally, because you would wind up alienating people with this, again, argumentative and hostile stance that you're presenting in your um, in your response and reactions and again people not really thinking about their emotions not understanding when for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction and there's a consequence for your actions and when I see people again thinking that this that because they have the anonymity of the internet to go off the rails in the comment section that's when I have to shut down the, the um, comment section I have to shut down the comment section because this is not civil discourse. This is a person looking to, again, just go berserk at this point. Go berserk as related to talking points regarding a subject. And again, that's not how you go out here and discuss a topic. And what I'm seeing from some people is, again, no critical thinking whatsoever, just going on feelings because someone making a commentary about Megan Thee Stallion opening up for Kamala Harris's um, um, rally in Atlanta does not mean that I support Donald Trump. I have said in multiple videos I do not support Donald Trump and what I support is black empowerment. I support black people getting tangibles in exchange for their vote and making this a business transaction. Unfortunately, you have some individuals who cannot control their emotions and since they cannot control their emotions, what they do is again act impulsively on their feelings and go berserk in the comment section but go berserk and show us that they have again no on no self-control no understanding of how to behave no understanding of how to control themselves and I, I, when you see people like this again sadly you want to keep the comment section open but you can't keep it open because some people can't control themselves and since they can't control themselves, I have to maintain control in order to maintain control over my channel because I don't mind a civil discourse. Don't even mind people disagreeing. I will leave a disagreeing point up there. But if you're going to get into getting personal, this is not effective communication. This is not effect an effective way to behave because when you do this, it reflects badly on you and it reflects badly on you because it shows that this person cannot really sit down and process information. No, this just shows that a person just is caught up in their emotions. And again, being in your emotions is never a good place. You never want to be emotional because if you're emotional, what happens is people will take advantage of your emotions, take advantage of your emotions and use them to control you because when they see you emotional like this, what they do is go out here and use buzzwords to get you to react the way they want. They use buzzwords and statements to go out here and trigger an emotional reaction. They use buzzwords and things to trigger your emotions because they know if they say certain things, this will get you going. And what I'm seeing from some of the viewers out here who behave like this, this, is, this shows a real serious problem as related to behavior, a problem I've seen get progressively worse after the aftermath of the pandemic because I started seeing this kind of out of control behavior start around 2021 or so. I mean, before that, I saw, some, I saw people being civil. They'd make their talking points and move on. But what I'm seeing these days is, again, really low impulse control. And that's a dangerous thing, because if you would act crazy on the internet, I would have to wonder how you act on the street. And again, someone like this is a danger to others and themselves, because if you go out here and post something crazy like, I, like I've seen in several videos, I just have to wonder what's wrong with this person. What's wrong with this person that they can't think before they put their fingers to the keyboard? What's wrong with this person that they can't think before they act on social media because the way they're acting is anti-social? Again, this goes beyond trolling because, a, again, a troll, basically, again, they, they, they are the people who waste time, but the way this, these people are acting, 
It's just not acting right. And again, not acting right because again, they get on this social media. And again, this is creating these plat making these platforms toxic, as toxic as MySpace in the last days. I remember MySpace in the last days having a lot of, again, individuals who were like this, who basically crashed the site. And if people on social media don't watch out, they may wind up crashing the site because, again, the users who come here and create content, they may wind up walking away, walking away because, again, these toxic individuals are enabled to participate in this out of control behavior because there's no reason to get super emotional about something online. Again, the cyberspace is not the real world. And in cyberspace, you would think you would have some etiquette as related to your behavior. I mean, this is not a place where you get to go out here and go berserk on people. No, this is not the place where anybody should be allowed to go berserk on people. And it just really saddens me to see, again, this type of behavior and me having to pause comments because people should not be so polarized as related to politics like this. I remember going, seeing many political discourses over the course of 2008 with Barack Obama in 2012, and it never got this heated, and that's even with the first black president, but even, even with the Hillary Donald Trump situation, it didn't get this heated, but in 2024, I don't know what got twisted. Did people get twisted from the COVID lockdowns? Did they get twisted from all of the dysfunction going on? I mean, people these days, again, you got to walk on eggshells online these days, and they basically are just, again, acting real crazy, and that's one of the reasons why I was, I'm was, i still pondering, again, walking away from social media, because it's not as social, it's not amicable like it was in the early 2000s or even in the 2010s. No, it's just gotten so toxic because people... Just they, they don't have any boundaries, don't have any filter, don't think about who they're engaging with and how they're engaging with people. That's the real problem with today's social media. It's an anti-social environment, an anti-social environment, again, that is becoming more and more hostile, like the last days of MySpace, where instead of friends, all you saw were a group of enemies, and it's becoming, again, a place where, I'm again, I looked at that comment section, and again, at 12, I premiered that video at 8 o'clock, and by about midnight, I had to shut it down, because people couldn't control themselves, and since they couldn't control themselves, I had to take control, because this is my channel, and again, my platform, and again, while I don't mind people disagreeing, I don't want to see people getting to the point where they're taking things personal, because you taking it personal, again, shows how you're losing control over your boundaries and control over yourself. And that's the one place you don't want to be on a social media platform going out here saying something crazy because the Internet is forever. And it's, I, I, when I look at this kind of thing, people aren't really thinking critically about what they're saying. And that's a real bad thing because that's not how you get social on social media. Now, if you want to see me make more videos talking about different topics, just send a donation to the Patreon, the PayPal, or the Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. And if you want to pick up some of my books on the SJS Direct imprint, you can find those books on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find them at other online booksellers like Draft the Digital, Google Play, Barnes & Noble, and big box retailers like Walmart and Target. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paper bucket, e mirrors Isis, Dark Incubus. The goddess next door gets enthralled in a romantic entanglement with an evil Incubus in this all-new Isis series adventure. Get your copy of Isis, Dark Incubus, and paperback and e-readers today. Now available in paperback and e-readers, a steam horror in the Hamptons. The aspiring angel tries to escape a house of horrors in this action-packed, all-new Esteem series adventure. Get your copy of Esteem, Horror in the Hamptons, in paperback and e-readers at online booksellers everywhere. Support Black-owned and Black-operated digital broadcast media. www.niceradionetwork.com Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.